The story of how birds evolved from dinosaurs is one of the most fascinating tales in the history of life on Earth. This evolutionary leap, transforming creatures that once roamed the land into beings that conquer the skies, is a remarkable example of how life adapts and evolves. Recent scientific discoveries have shed more light on this process, revealing a complex and intriguing transition from prehistoric giants to the feathered avians we know today. The evolutionary journey from dinosaurs to birds is one of the most intriguing and significant transitions in the history of life on Earth. This transformation, unfolding over millions of years, marks a pivotal point where the land-bound giants of the Mesozoic era gave rise to the agile avians that dominate our skies today. The story of this transition is not just a tale of change, but a testament to the incredible adaptability and diversity of life. The connection between birds and dinosaurs, a hypothesis that initially stirred controversy, has gained substantial support through a wealth of paleontological evidence. The groundbreaking discovery of the Archaeopteryx fossil in the 19th century was the first clue to this lineage. Archaeopteryx, with its blend of avian features like feathers and wings and reptilian characteristics such as teeth and a long tail, provided a tangible link between birds and theropod dinosaurs. Further discoveries, particularly in the rich fossil beds of China, have unveiled a more detailed picture of this evolutionary path. Numerous species of feathered dinosaurs have been unearthed, painting a vivid portrait of the prehistoric world where feathers were not exclusive to birds. These dinosaurs, like Cynoceropteryx with its simple filament-like feathers and the larger Uteranus with its downy covering, suggest that feathers were initially used for purposes other than flight, such as insulation or display. The presence of feathers on these theropod dinosaurs also implies a gradual evolutionary development of flight. Feathers, a defining characteristic of birds, likely started as a means for temperature regulation or sexual display, and only later became adapted for flight. This gradual adaptation highlights the evolutionary flexibility and creativity in utilizing existing structures for new functions. Moreover, the anatomical similarities between certain theropod dinosaurs and birds are striking. Features such as a semi-lunate carpal, a crescent-shaped wrist bone, a furcula, wishbone, and certain aspects of bone structure and musculature show clear evolutionary continuity. These similarities underscore the shared lineage and offer insights into how the demands of flight led to specific anatomical adaptations. In essence, the story of how dinosaurs evolved into birds is not just an isolated event in the history of life, but a window into the broader mechanisms of evolution. It demonstrates how traits developed for one purpose can be repurposed for entirely new functions and how life diversifies and adapts to changing environments. The birds we see today are not just descendants of ancient dinosaurs, they are the ongoing legacy of a remarkable evolutionary journey, showcasing the dynamic and ever-changing nature of life on our planet. The evolution of flight in birds is a captivating chapter in the story of evolution, marked by a series of gradual and complex changes that transformed earthbound dinosaurs into masters of the sky. This remarkable transformation is not just about the acquisition of wings or feathers, but a profound reorganization of an entire suite of anatomical and physiological features to conquer a new realm the air. The debate among scientists about how flight originated centers around two main theories. The ground-up, cursorial, and the tree-down, arboreal, hypotheses. The ground-up theory posits that flight evolved in fast-running dinosaurs that used their feathered limbs to assist in capturing prey or to escape predators. This theory suggests that these proto-birds developed the ability to glide and eventually powered flight as a means of enhancing their locomotion. On the other hand, the tree-down theory proposes that flight evolved from tree-dwelling dinosaurs that used their feathered limbs to glide from tree to tree or from trees to the ground. This arboreal lifestyle would have naturally selected for individuals that could glide further and with more control, gradually leading to the development of active flight. Fossils play a crucial role in understanding this evolutionary process. The discovery of feathered dinosaurs like Microraptor, with its four wing-like limbs, supports the idea that early forms of flight may have involved gliding. Microraptor's anatomy suggests it could have maneuvered through the air, using its feathered limbs to glide or control its descent. This evidence points to a complex picture of the evolution of flight, 
with different species possibly experimenting with various forms of aerial locomotion. The transition to active flight required significant changes. The development of a keeled sternum for the attachment of powerful flight muscles, modifications in bone structure for reduced weight, and changes in muscle arrangement were all crucial. The evolution of a high metabolic rate and a more efficient respiratory system were also necessary adaptations for the energy demands of flight. These changes did not occur overnight, but represent a gradual process over millions of years. Each adaptation opened new ecological niches and survival strategies, from gliding and fluttering to soaring and hovering. The evolution of flight in birds is a testament to the power of incremental evolutionary change, where small adaptations accumulate over time to bring about a dramatic transformation in the way an organism interacts with its environment. This journey from ground-dwelling dinosaurs to flying birds is a striking example of evolutionary innovation. It showcases nature's ability to repurpose and refine existing structures for new functions, leading to the diverse array of flying birds we see today. The evolution of birds from their dinosaur ancestors involved a series of profound physiological changes, each playing a crucial role in the transition from terrestrial to aerial life. This transformation was not merely about developing wings or feathers, it was an intricate process of reconfiguring the entire anatomy and physiology to adapt to the demands of flight. One of the most significant changes was the development of a lightweight, yet strong skeletal structure. Birds evolved hollow bones, a feature present in some theropod dinosaurs, which reduced weight while maintaining structural strength. This adaptation was crucial for flight, as it allowed for a significant reduction in body mass, making aerial maneuverability and sustained flight possible. The modification of the forelimbs into wings was another critical change. This transformation involved not only the lengthening of the arm and finger bones, but also the fusion of certain bones to provide the necessary support for wing muscles. The evolution of the pectoral girdle, particularly the enlargement of the sternum to form a keel, provided an anchor point for powerful flight muscles. This keel is a distinctive feature in modern birds, underscoring their adaptation to flight. Respiratory and metabolic changes were also vital for the evolution of flight. Birds developed a highly efficient respiratory system, including air sacs that ensure a constant supply of fresh air through the lungs, allowing for more efficient oxygen uptake. This system is particularly important for sustaining the high metabolic rates required for flight. The evolution of a high metabolic rate was a crucial step, as it provided the energy necessary for the muscular activity involved in flying. Another significant physiological change was the development of advanced sensory and navigational abilities. The evolution of acute vision and a heightened sense of balance were critical for maneuvering and stabilizing during flight. These adaptations allowed birds to navigate complex aerial environments and exploit new ecological niches. Additionally, birds evolved a unique reproductive strategy to suit their mobile lifestyle. The development of hard-shelled eggs and a reduction in egg and clutch size were adaptations that reduced a weight burden for flying birds. This change also reflects the shift in parental investment from producing numerous offspring to providing more care and protection to fewer eggs and chicks. In summary, the evolution of birds from dinosaurs was marked by a series of intricate physiological changes that redefined their anatomy and function. These changes were not isolated events, but part of a coordinated transformation that enabled these creatures to take to the skies. From skeletal modifications to metabolic and sensory adaptations, each change played a role in shaping the birds we see today, a diverse group of animals that have mastered the art of flight. The evolution of birds from dinosaurs is a testament to the incredible adaptability of life. From earthbound giants to masters of the sky, this evolutionary journey speaks volumes about nature's ability to find new niches and opportunities for survival. Today, as we look up at the birds soaring above, we witness the living descendants of an ancient lineage that once dominated our planet, a lineage that continues to evolve and thrive in the diverse ecosystems of Earth.